Hello guys, this is Kylie again and I hope that you missed my colorful videos. In this video you will find 5 unordinary tips to travel to Namibia. I've been to 123 countries and I've been to Namibia more than 20 times, so I really know every cheetah by face in the country, so I really have what to tell you. So in this video I'll share with you very useful tips on traveling to Namibia. There will be 5 tips which I had to explore by myself in the last 6 years traveling there. And I'm ready to share them with you and at the end of this video you will find a great surprise for you. So stay tuned and let's start. The first tip is to you'll always use Google Maps, not other maps while traveling to Namibia. Because it really shows different ones. In the last trip we used Google Maps, Maps Me and here we go. And the difference between our routes was about 5 hours for one route. And by Google Maps we get to the final destination from Spiskope to Cape Cross in 2 hours. While Maps Me showed us 5 hours hours on the way. So you really have to prepare really good for it and choose your maps properly. The second tip is simple as every time you see a petrol station, refill the full tank. Sometimes you make trips of not less than 600 kilometers per day and you don't have the phone connection for an entire day and it's really easy to get stuck in the middle of the desert. Trust me, I had it on my own experience and I had to wait for a few hours to get some help. So you don't want to repeat my experience. So better every time you see the petrol station, refill the full tank. And the tip number three, book everything in advance. We are talking about Namibia, so infrastructure there is not really good and you don't have many good hotels or nice lodges. Even the cars in every car rental are pre-booked like three or four months before the days that you need. So better if you plan like six months in advance and you book everything before that uh, you don't have to drive extra four hours every day just to spend night somewhere. So you better listen for this advice. The fourth tip is uh, also unusual, so you have to prepare your warm clothes while traveling to Namibia, no matter when you go there. Because, yes, days can get really warm, especially during uh, our winter season, so in January it's quite warm, but at nights it gets really chilly. So prepare your nice hoodie and a pair of jeans for a quite chilly evening, so you watch stars and you don't get cold. And the tip number five, and it's my favorite one, you have to check the moon calendar before traveling to Namibia. What's a strange advice you say? Checking the moon calendar before I go to travel? But as you might know already, Namibia is one of the best places in the world to see stars. And the moon, when it's full, it doesn't get stars that bright. So for stargazing, it's better when the moon is really low. So you have to check that uh, the days when you're going to Spitzkope or um, Sosusvili Desert, where the best places to see stars, the moon is getting as low as possible. So you have to listen for this as well. Namibia is for sure one of the countries you have to see in your lifetime. And don't be scared of stereotypes. It's really safe and the roads there are really good, so there is nothing to worry about. And to make your journey in Namibia even more comfortable, I've prepared an amazing present for you. So this is going to be a checklist of things you have to pack for Namibia and also good advices. So what do you have to do before going there? So you can download the checklist right under this video. I hope it will help you to make an amazing trip there. So you can ask any questions on traveling to Namibia under this video and I answer all of them. And as well, don't forget to like this video and turn on the notification as well as follow my channel. See you next time. Bye.